How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV and today I'm going to say the topic and the title very slowly because I can't believe this is even a discussion when we look at the person's name involved. Dieter Hedman accused of cheating. A video I never thought I'd be making but I can understand why. When we take a look at the footage about what has happened. Now the footage in question here is from when she playing for England ladies. We're looking at the double nine. Double nine was called as game shot. Ironically, the throw before, she won a double 18, split, it came inside, went to the board thinking it was in, the referee said no, the referee takes another look, the referee then says no, so indeed, to take a close look, goes back and throws at double 9. The first bit of evidence we're going to look at is her opponent, look at her eyes, looking directly at the board, Dita throws the dart, Dita goes to collect the darts, the referee's called game shot, opponent still looking at the board, after the game, shakes the hand, no quabble, smile on the face. There's not even an element of doubt on that player's mind that that dart has actually gone in the double. So the first bit of evidence we've got to look at is the people that was there. The people that was there was the caller. The caller has called game shot. The next bit of evidence is the opponent. The opponent is quite happy, smiling, and happy to accept that that dart was actually in. And Dieter also happy to accept the dart that was in. So the three people that was actually there in question, all happy enough with that incident. Now, when we look at incidents like where this might have happened in the past, Dean Win Stanley, Phil Taylor, for example, when Phil Taylor threw the dart that appeared not to be in and did later on turn out not to be in, Dean Win Stanley was like this, like looking at the board insinuating he wasn't sure that the dart was in none of that has happened in this situation so the next best thing to do here is to take this footage now this footage isn't the greatest footage but what i've done is i've split that little second and i've stretched it out so we can see it in lots of different frames so we can see the dart going into the board because of these reflex points we need to sort of see the, the process of the dart entering so when we take a look at that slowed down footage, you can see that actually on the way in, I'd say the dart's looking like it's going onto the inside wire when you take a close look at that one. However, when you look at when the dart lands, again, it looks like it's on the outside. And when we take a look at that zoomed in photo, I think one of the things that we can clearly see here is that it's quite hard to see fully because the quality of the video and the light and we lose that pixelation when we move in now the reason that's important is down to the points that Dita uses she uses very very thin reflex 1.5 millimeter points now what that means is when the dart hits the board there's a bit of a wobble which doesn't help the situation but also it does mean that sometimes you can misread where that dart lands the classic case for me is looking at justin pipe i used to hate playing justin pipe because he used to use really really long darts and his darts used to sit quite low in the board so quite often where the dart actually looked like it was was very different to where it actually was there's many times he'd hit like 100 or 140 and you'd look up and you'd go oh that's a 60 or the other way around you think yes that's only a 60 and he'd mark in a 180 i remember there was a game he wanted tops and it you look up and it didn't look in it was a match dart you know so i, I knew it was in because when you didn't shake hands you go and shake the marks and you can see it's clearly in but from the angle i was stood at when i was playing justin pipe it didn't look like it was in and you know the long points these really thin points can sometimes give a bit of a misleading situation on there now when we look at this, we've got to also look at the people that are involved. Like I said, first of all, the referee thought it was in. The player behind had no qualms, despite looking directly at the throw. And Dieter then went and retrieved the darts as well and accepted the win. Now, for me, everything that Dieter Hedwin has done within the game, she's not just a player, she's been a fine ambassador for darts, so both on ladies' darts, youth darts, she's been on the board of organisations before. There's a lot that Dieter does behind the scenes to ensure that darts keeps progressing. And I think with everything she has done for darts, I think she's earned the benefit of the doubt to suggest that, yes, it doesn't look like it's in, but for me, the amount of respect that Dieter has gathered throughout the years, if Dieter says it's in, it, it, it's in. 
Now this sort of situation has happened before. If you go over to YouTube, where well, you're on it already, type in Yellow Klassen Edgar TV, you'll see the first one here, the truth behind the 70 finish Yellow Klassen. This one happened around the time of COVID when they were doing like the home tour and things. This start here from Yellow Klassen, he claimed it was in tops and it appeared that it didn't look like it was in tops. So I got some footage, we slowed it right down and we was able to prove in this situation that actually the dart did go in the double. Jack Lanson, though, the darts referee, put this tweet out last night, which I think summarises my exact thoughts. It's put, I refuse to believe Dieter would have knowingly cheated. Maybe it was in. Camera is pretty poo, to be fair. Later on follows it a weird tweet that didn't look in, though. That's exactly my stance. I couldn't have put it any better. The camera... Does look like it's not in. Like I said, I have experienced this myself with Justin Pipe and other players. Justin's just the first one that can come to my head. Where it doesn't look in, but it actually is down to the points and the equipment that people are using. And when we look at the character and the reference and the things of Dieter Hedman and everything she's done for darts. Again, like Jack said there, I refuse to believe that she has cheated in this situation. Um, what do you guys think? I can see this as completely split opinion on social media. Let me know in the comment section below. A lot of people like me who have been around the game and things are just going, no, surely not. Surely not. Some people are just saying it's clear as day. It, it's not in. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I'll catch you all soon for some more Edgar TV.